I left this town in 99 and was never coming back. And I didn't want to work that hard. I didn't want to do what my father did. But I kept drawing back to this farm and kept being interested in what he was doing. And I moved back home in 2012 and started helping him. And I just fell in love with the hard work and the, the benefits and just the overall idea that I'm actually accomplishing something. God has given us this land for a purpose. And, you know, it, and it's my duty, it's our duty to help preserve that and keep it going so that we can continue to feed the world. It's important to to take care of it. As as I take care of my son, I want I have to be able to take care of the land in the same nature. Nurture it, feed it, um, watch it grow. Uh, so I think that's that's one of the most important things. <sighs> Being a woman in this industry in this community is is not unknown, but it's not the norm. If somebody says the farm that farmer over there, you everybody's mind automatically goes to a man. And so I think that it's okay if you're a girl and you see you want to be a farmer, it's okay to continue that dream. And life comes difficulties and you're already prepared to face those. So I think you're even more well equipped to be a farmer than most people. The major reasons why I'm a farmer is just the big picture and so a lot of days I have to remind myself of that but you know at the end like the end of the day yesterday our first day of wheat harvest and it's all worth it you know getting home at 10 30 11 o'clock at night after a hard day's work it's it's worth it